everybody i hope you're doing well and welcome to the platform of coach chef so today we're going to be solving the problem frequency array the difficulty level for this problem is easy and the prerequisites required are none so this you will get a hunch and i hope you like my video let's proceed to the problem statement okay now let us try to understand the problem statement beautiful sequence is defined as a sequence that do not have any repeating elements in it you will be given any random sequence of integers and you have to tell whether that sequence is a beautiful sequence or not so basically in other words a question is told us that will be given an array of an integers and then if it does not have any repeating elements in that particular sequence then that particular sequence will be my good sequence and otherwise it will be my bad sequence so according to the question i have to print this particular thing if my sequence is a beautiful sequence otherwise i have to print this thing if my sequence is not a good sequence so now according to the question let us understand sample test cases so here i have met two test cases my n integer being 4 that means i have a four length array and i have my 1 2 3 4 so as you can see all the elements present are distinct and not any one of them is repeating this is my beautiful sequence and hence i printed this procrastinating pre thing whatever it spelled that right and similarly since my this particular sequence as you can see my 1 is the repeating element and hence it is not a beautiful sequence and hence we print the nicrasi view for that particular test case right so yeah now how to approach this particular problem so firstly as you can see in my constraints my elements are very less it is just all the elements are lying in the range between 1 and 10 power 5 that means i can simply use the concept of frequency array so what is exactly frequency array so frequency is array is nothing but an array with all values initially as zero denoting that all values of each and every element occurring is zero any particular count say i want to count how many times 3 is occurring that will be easily obtained by nothing but frequency of 3 so in general any frequency of i is storing but number of element or the count or the count of element of i so what we can do is we can just simply traverse into my sequence and then what we can do is for each element i can just simply update my frequency arrow in my frequency array by 1 and after the end of the sequence what we'll do is if the array does not have so basically for my each and every element to be distinct my all the values of frequency array must be less than or equal to 1 because if array is 1 that means if the value of frequency array is 1 that means only one element is occurring in the sequence or if the value is 0 that means no sequence is no element is occurring and that is fine for repeating elements i need greater than equal to 2 for my frequency of array so basically if i am less than equal to 1 that means that particular if all the elements have frequency less than equal to 1 then it's my good array otherwise it's my non beautiful array and we can just simply print whatever array corresponding for that particular test case so this becomes the approach to solve this particular problem of using frequency array now let us try to understand the code for this particular problem okay now let us try to understand the code for the following problem so here i included all the header files necessary in my main function i firstly initialize my test cases and the variable n i simply inputted t as my test cases then for each particular test case i started traversing in the loop right then i inputted n according to the input format then i simply initialize my frequency array with maximum length of 10 power 5 because in the constraints the maximum value can be 10 power 5 having all the elements as zero so all the elements in the frequency array is zero because there is no element present in the array right then simply i initialize my array with length 1000 because in this case the maximum value of n is 1000 then for simply n i simply inputted the n i simply inputted the array of each and every element of array and then in the frequency array as i discussed in the approach section i simply incremented its particular frequency by 1 then after computing this entire array what i did is i initialized the boolean flag which will tell me whether my sequence is beautiful or not So yeah, basically, for the entire sequence, I can check whether the frequency of that particular element is less than equal to one, as we discussed in the approach section. And if it is so, then it is beautiful. Otherwise, for if one also element, my frequency is not satisfying this condition, 
that means it is not satisfying the criteria for beautiful sequence and hence it is a non beautiful sequence so I initialize my flag as 0 and I can simply break the loop so after the end of this iteration if my flag is 1 that means it is my beautiful sequence otherwise it is not my beautiful sequence and yeah this becomes the code for solving the problem now let us run our code on the sample test cases to understand whether everything is working correctly or not so as you can see we got the correct answer an expected answer according to the sample test cases now let us run our code on the actual test cases to understand whether this works correctly or not so as you can see we got the correct answer for the following problem and yes this becomes a valid approach to solve this problem yeah now let me discuss what is what people can do wrong in this particular problem so here the main observation was you can just simply input frequency array and compute the count and if whichever frequency is less than or equal to 1 for each and every element then it is a good sequence otherwise it's a bad sequence. So if this logic was clear and observation was clear I don't think anywhere else in the syntactical or the logical part people can make mistakes in this particular problem. So that is the learning you get from my video. I hope you liked my video. Please like share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.